And we are back, strictly business, pulling it out in search and destroy, just a one point game in domination. This match is closer than anyone yeah, expected. Yeah, I was going to say it's a hell of a way to start the X Games, isn't it, man? I like it. These yeah, guys are here to play this one, weekend. One point difference in domination. You really literally cannot get any closer other than tying the game at that point. And, uh, and back and forth, they went. Ultimately, I think the, the only time that two consecutive rounds were won by a team were when SB won round five and, you know, their fifth and sixth uh, round for the win. So, right. Uh, it was getting close to even going in overtime round 11 there. But SB played really well. Uh, Fizzard was able to bounce back after a rough domination game and absolutely put the hands on EG there. So both that of them. Yeah, both of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah both, both, both of them. And now we're going into a Blitz Warhawk game. So let's see how things kind of can go. But what we did learn in game number one is that John and Space League can slay with these oh, guys. Oh yeah, I love... Not that we didn't know that before, but they really showed it that they're here to play this weekend. I love what Space Lee is doing. This is a land flare. He struggles online at times, but as soon as you get this guy in the same room as his competitors, he is just a monster. He showed it back in Black Ops yeah. 2. Now it's great to see him back with a comfortable squad here in Call of Duty Ghost. I can't wait to see what he brings to the table. He's the objective player. The game mode is Blitz. It's all about the captures. Let's get into the yeah, action. Let's jump into it, baby. So here we go. I got Spacely on my screen, and he is going to be the sneaky player. Now, in Domination, you always got to get those kills. Here in Blitz, sometimes it's better to just look at your opponent. If he doesn't see you, sneak on by for that goal. Unfortunately, he's going to get cut down off that opening break, but the initial kills are scored by SB, and they do have half control. Nice defensive stand as well as you see Stanville playing some base defense. He is going to be the goalie in this game. Karma for EG generally plays that role. And nice kills out of Spacely there as he's able to pick one up and just kind of hang tight here. Again, you know, Blitz, you, you got you to make your, you know, your moves here, move up the map. You got to be able to get your kills there and go in. So now it's starting to be Aix that's making the progression here as he's getting close. He doesn't see anybody and he's going to be able to, they finally did call him out there and he gets taken out. I was going to say, Spacely actually started heading up there. Finally, somebody did call out that Aix is on his way there. So they were able to turn around and pick that up. So again, communication, incredibly important in Blitz to be able to call these guys out as you see him. And Karma, he just spotted a player, looked away at the wrong time. It's going to be Aches playing some base defense, but one player did sneak by on that left side. I'm going to keep him lit up. It looks like that is going to be Fizzer. So Fizzer playing very sneaky, was over at American. Now he's trying to push through Gina's, and unfortunately, an opponent just scored. Four people back at the base. He's not going to get very far. Spacely trying to push through the diner now. And sticking on board with Spacely. He's incredibly close to this. Just trying to run. Oh, get in there. Get in there. Oh. Nice. He's able to pick up a kill. Takes out TP and gets the cap. So ties it up 1-1. One, one. John doing nice defensive work on this left side as well. And I'll keep Spacely lit up for you guys. He is the sneaky player. One player did get by on that left side. It looks like Stainville will be hunting that down from EG. And can Stain get the defensive kill? He will up top. Very, very solid job so far by Strictly Business. Lock it down their base. Sticking on board with Fizzer. He's got someone right in front of him, and there he is, and he gets taken out. That's going to be Crimp Six with the Vector making it happen as we switch on board with John. You see somebody bomb Gina, picks up a kill. One more, Ooh. picks up a two piece. That's three down. That's the last EG player. It is Aches. And now Aches going to try to cut back to stop it, but not able to make it happen. But it is the EG team spawning in there. So Strictly Business not able to capitalize on that three down. There is a sneaky play up front here by Stainville. Now, I don't know if he's going to shoot at these players when they walk by or if he's going to try and slip through. One person still looking in his corner will take him out. The defense needs to be set up here. Who is, who's your player to watch so far in this game? I mean, look, Spacely has been doing a remarkable job. He's got nine kills and a cap, so he's making progress there. Aix is going to get on the board as he runs one through, so EG takes a 2-1 lead. TP trying to set up the rally. He's working here with Karma. Unfortunately, that stun is going to shut down his push. Aix going for the rally. He gets one kill, won't be able to get the cap. Karma now out of Remington ammo is going to have to run and find a gun. He is the player watching this right side. Everyone else on the left side of the map for the moment. With the muzzle break, he has enough shots. Yeah, I was going to say he's got enough bullets to make it happen, but that's it. He had one kill he could do. He was able to, to knock that out, but gets taken out with no ammo. So we jump on board with Crimp Six. Not going to shoot there, but finally he does get seen. As now he's going to switch back. It is Strictly Business that gets on the board at the same time, so it's tied 2-2. EG trying to take the lead there, but Crimp6 gets taken out. A minute and 23 seconds left in the half. Yeah, that was Fizzerb who capped for Strictly Business to tie this one up. So 120 still to go here on the first side. 
pretty even game. The kill's not out of control in one side or the other, but Spacely, again, topping the leaderboard when it comes to this respawn game mode for Strictly Business. On the other side, it's TP who had a phenomenal domination with most kills for EG. And now on with TP here, Spacely's in the double digits. So is TP. He's going to get taken out as we switch on board with Spacely. That's going to be two down for EG. Three, actually, as Crim6, Aix, and TP were all out. TP and Aix finally spawning back in. Spacely starting to move up the right side of this map here to see if he can make something happen. He's going to cut back in. Nice pick up there. He's able to take somebody out and got to watch his left. And he does. And he nice again. This guy is on fire here. Now he's going to try to move through. They definitely know he's coming. So now he's going to have to pick up this one more kill right oh, here. He is stunned. Stun. And yeah, he gets pushed around. Nice play. Who was that? That was TP, TP that played him really well. And TP just going to stick back here on defense to make sure it stays 2-2. Two to two. Meanwhile, Aegs looks like he might get a little bit aggressive in the final 17 seconds. He's going to be searching forward with Karma on this middle street. Krim on that right side there to protect as well. Krim finally cleaned up. It's all up to Karma if they want a chance to score in the last 10. And Karma trying to get some shots out. Picks up one on Spacely. There's and a whole oh, team oh right gosh. there. He, he, I thought he was going to bob and weave right into there in front of three people, but he's not able to. And now it's tied up. This match between these two teams continue to stay close. At the half, it's all tied up. This has been an incredibly close series. Two rounds in S&D, one point in domination. And we have five more minutes still to go with an even score on Blitz. Who do you want to watch on the second Karma's side? Karma's 13 and 7, but he tends to play defensively. I want to watch someone aggressive, and I think that guy is going to be space lead. But let's see what Karma does on this initial break. He's going to get some early peppering on that first player, but look all the way across the map. We have someone from EG making the push. That's Krim6 who won his one-on-one. -on -one. Now he's challenging at the base. One defender to beat, and he's going to get through. Oh, man, that was nice play by Krim6, able to get it in there. It's just somebody from the SB side was starting to backpedal to stop him, but was not able to make it happen here as we jump on board with TP. EG up 3-2 to two here with 4 minutes and 25 seconds left on the clock. TP gets challenged. The patience pays off, gets the easy kill. Now you're going to have Aix working with him on this main street. Aix is going to slip through Diner. TP's got the smoke to run through as well. Now it's Aix and TP both in the base. Down goes TP. Aix is going to be oh, able to benefit from wow. it. Nice bait and good finish here from EG pulling away with two caps in the intro minute. That's, that's Aix and TP. They've been teaming together for years now, and that's the kind of communication and execution you get when you stick together with your teammate for that many years, man. It paid off for him. Aix pushing on this left side, will finally get cut down. The player who killed him, Spacely, 18 and 12, has definitely been the star for this SB team when it comes to respawn. Can he keep it up? Spacely picking up a nice kill. He's Looks got like he cap. should be able to walk this one in. He does, so He's SB play puts D, one though. back on the board. Yep. And there is one player in the base. Can Spacely get this kill? If not, it's a cap, Ooh. and he does. Big clutch finish, and there was a nice defensive stand on the opposite side as Karma stopped uh, his opponent. That was John trying to sneak through for SB. Yeah, that was a huge stop for him right there. His Fizzler's got to recover. He was taking some shots down. He puts a trophy system out. Stainville trying to get some kills. He sees somebody right in front of him. Does pick it up. Nice stop by Stainville. Every kill counts when you get that close to the flag. You've got to make it happen. And only a one-point difference in favor of EG. Three minutes left on the clock. There's still time for Strictly Business to do something. And it looks like defense is the game plan. There is one player playing extremely sneaky. Look at this. Three arrows were all in that base. No one sees TP as they push out a genius play here from Teep. When is he going to make the move? It looks like now's his moment. 5-3, up by 2. EG going in the last 2 minutes, 45 seconds. TP gets taken out as we switch on board with Karma. He's able to pick up a kill on John. He's just sitting back here on defense trying to pick off anybody that comes his way. And again, he is the guy to stop if you're going to score. You've got to stop him. There's no doubt about it. Karma gets a nice pop up top on Stainville. And there is one player sneaking on this right side for Strictly Business. That's going to be John. He's going to be pushing forward for the one-on-one. -on -one. Meanwhile, Karma shutting it down back at the base. John gets one. A second player now rotating back on defense. John doing as much as he can, but it's one. not enough. And now we're running out of time if you're a Strictly Business fan. Two minutes, six seconds left on the clock. No map control for the moment. Everyone coming off spawn. They need to push as a team. Yeah, the thing is EG can turtle up a little bit more. That's why you see Karma back there, and that's that's the luxury of having a two-cap lead with uh, under two minutes left on the clock. So it's going to be tough. You know, Strictly Business is going to have to try to break that. John struggling in the slaying category. As he's only 11 and 21. Fizzer going to have to try to play defense here. Two people coming in. 
He's firing all kind of shots, able to pick up one, no. but the other one gets through. Nice pickup as now EG's going to make it a three-point lead with a minute and 34 seconds left. That EG bait move, man, they've got it down. One player goes through Diner, the other one pushes up right through that middle street, and then they just both go at the same time, making their defenders pick one or the other. So 6-3. Just 70 seconds left in this oh. one. John gonna try and push through. His teammate did go through. That was uh, basically once again for his third capture. Basically didn't see Aix here. Will get picked off. We're going to Fizzer. Fizzer, he's got to make sure that guy got called out, picked him up, and yeah, Fizzer be able to make it happen. Does throw a smoke out. He's gonna actually get rid of both of them right now. Six to four. So they've got time to make it happen. Uh, very difficult to do, but definitely doable. And now he didn't see anybody loading docks. He's gonna get pick, picked off. And now two down for strictly Space business. Bye. Let's see, he does see somebody post Don't office. Don't shoot, baby. <laughs> Sneak in. Oh, and they did. I, I thought he might have seen him, but I couldn't tell. So now we're on board with Fizzer. 38 seconds left on the clock here. They've got it now. If they're going to get it, they've got to rally him out right now. Now remember, guys, after you go through that blitz portal, there is a 10-second uh, countdown. And it looks like that enemy score is going to put this one just out of reach, potentially, unless they can get back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back captures. Yeah, I mean, the, they, they can do it. They can tie it. That's yeah. the best they can do at this moment. But there is another EG player in their base. Good kill by Stainville. Not enough time. Fizzer will not be able to get there. Tough, and that man, is going to be the game for Evil Geniuses. Grim 6 goes even. Karma. Plus 10 with some great defensive kills and TP doing that objective work with eggs. They combined for six of the seven captures. Yeah, that was ni nice play. EG was able to make it happen in that second half. It was a very close game, but ultimately at the end, they, they pulled it out there and uh, they win the Blitz game, man. I don't think we have a single EG fan in the stands. I do not hear any noise after that victory. <laughs> yeah, I don't. There might not be. I think we got a lot of SB fans. Let's <laughs> see if they'll get a win and force Game 5. Spacely doing everything he can, but it's going to be a team effort in both respawn games. We've seen one player struggle. That last time, it was John. Yeah, they, they, John, they need him you know, to step up, and there's obviously a lot of weight on his shoulders to perform, no doubt about it. So we'll see. Going into domination, if they're able to, to if, I hope the game is as close as it was that first game, no doubt about it. All right, so here is a final look at your stats from game number three. Karma 23 and 13, TP 18 and 16, both players with very solid blitz games. Spacely leading the charge. We're going to see who can step up. Dom, game number four on Freight is coming up when we return.